When your puffin picture is dry, it's time to finish it. You will need for this part of the tutorial the piece of pre-felt white that you made earlier, the leftover of the black pre-felt that you have, the foam and the needle. You've also got four pieces of pure merino yarn in blue, terracotta, yellow and orange and in the template you've got this small box with all the faces in which you'll have to cut out. Right, the first thing we'll do is using the felting needle and your foam underneath you can push any stray fibres where you want them and I use the felting needle at this angle so as not to make big holes in my work and I'll do this to all the puffins I've now tidied up all the edges of the puffins with my felting needle and I've also cut out their faces from the pre-felt white that we made earlier but I've done the, it using the other side, not the side with the silk and I will be using these pieces of yarn in a minute as well I'm now going to put the pre-felt white in place so the pink is for the sitting puffin and I'm just going to poke it into place around the edges. You can do a bit in the middle because the eye will go there. And then I'll show you how to do the beak. We'll take a little bit of this the orange yarn and it's absolutely minuscule and you can even fold it over. Tear it up and fold it over quite loosely, you don't want it too tight and then put it on the tip of your puffin and then just poke around the edges with that felting needle and little triangle and then we'll take a little bit of the, the blue and more or less the same thing again. We can tear it up and fold it over on itself. I'm going to put that on the other side of the orange. Like that. And you can just pull it slightly towards the beak, the orange part, and lastly we'll take the, the yellow, and same thing, really small amount, you've got lots more than you actually need, and we're just going to roll it in your fingers, and then we can thread it between the orange and the blue. If you need to make it do it twice or you can always pull it out and do it again and then you can just finish it off like so. Once you've finished the beak then you can put your template back down with the hole for the eye and taking a tiny bit of black um, you can just put it down, you'll have to hold on to it and place it and that should help you guide um, your, for your eye and then just pull it in two different directions, it's like a, an L shape And you can take that quite far. Always look back to your instructions and templates to help guide you with size and shape.
To give Sitting Puffin a leg, I've taken a little bit of the terracotta and I've twizzled it in my fingers and then I've folded over the thin end again and twizzled it again, leaving the bottom free. And I'm going to just, just put it in place, securing it with the felting needle. And then you can spread the, the other bits over and if you want you can either fold this over and, and carry on or you can get your scissors and trim it off. I've placed the pre-felt and secured it with the felting needle for the face and now I'm going to do the eyes by just using the holes I've made to place a small amount of black in the holes or help me position the eyes and then I'll take that away. For the beak Take a little bit of orange and then you just do a little pear drop shape with the orange right in the middle. So for the feet we're going to take the terracotta, take a very small amount, exactly the same as we did before, twirl it round, fold it over and for scratching puffing, we'll just get it in place and then we can just poke it in place. If you need to add a bit more, you can do that. Um, the leg here is exactly the same as sitting puffing. With yellow standing puffin, I've done the same as the others, put the pre-felt in place and now I'm going to put the eye where I've made the hole, take the template out and then you can make this nice triangle shape. I'm now going to do the beak as I did with sitting puffin. Same thing again. And I'll put the blue behind. the yellow. Twirl it up and then put it in place. If you've got too much you can always snip the end off. I've added legs to the standing puffin and now I'm going to do baby. So I've just poke a few times where I going to put the eye and same thing just a little round eye on the baby puffin and then we can make a little triangle you'll see it in your picture of the baby puffin 
using your black pre felt. And then we can put two legs in place using the terracotta. Just tear a tiny bit off. And this, it will standing this time. Again, you've got a guide in your template. With the green puffin, it's got two legs showing. Make sure one comes from behind um, and that doesn't go over baby puffin. So just cut it if you need to and place it and then make this nice and strong this leg here so I've done a second sitting puffin the only thing to remember with that is do it exactly the same as the other one but mirror because it's in the opposite direction with walking puffin I've uh, done exactly the same with the beak and eyes and face and I've put one leg in place but this leg is kind of sticking out you can see it on your template because he's mid it's midair so same thing again put your leg in and then you can splay these out a bit like that even fold them over I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial and that you also enjoy making your puffin picture using my kit. If you did like it and would like to have another go, all my kits are available at www.artfelt.co.uk. You might like to make a llama or a beach hut. Have a look and Thank you for watching. Bye.